Today we're going to talk about the importance of shooting in log, picture profile, and color correction. This was actually shot on a log profile. It looks desaturated and overexposed. But after we apply color correction, it will look something like this. By definition, a log picture profile is a video shooting profile that has a wide dynamic and tonal range, allowing more latitude to apply color and style choices. Basically, you have more room to tweak the shadows and highlights in your footage. Now the question is, why shoot in log? Well, the straight answer is just to have flexibility and more creative freedom when applying colors to your video. If you're not happy with the color straight out of the camera, or you want to copy a certain look from a movie, then shooting in log is the smart choice. But shooting in log can be quite daunting, especially for beginners, because you have to know how to expose your footage correctly, and it differs from camera to camera. But that topic is for another video. And don't confuse yourself between color correction and color grading. Color correction is setting the right exposure and color as how our eyes would normally see it, while color grading is applying a creative color adjustment for artistic purposes. Now if you're looking for a way on how to manually color correct, there are already hundreds of tutorials on YouTube, so you can skip this video and look somewhere else. I'm here to talk about this Premiere Pro plugin that I recently discovered about color correcting the fastest and easiest way possible. You don't need to look at lumetri scopes or waveforms anymore. It is a guided color correction process where it will take you step by step on the adjustments that you need to apply to get the proper image. It is called Colorista 4, from a company called Red Giant. If you're new to the color correction process and you need a guide on how to do it, you can use this plugin. So let's fire up Premiere Pro and let me show you how it works. So I put 4 clips on the timeline, and they were all shot in log picture profile. Let's start with the first clip. I select the razor tool and split the clip into two. Then we go to Effects Panel, type in Colorista, then drag the effect on the second half of the clip. Then we select that clip, go to Effects Controls, scroll down to Colorista, and then click the guided color correction right here. So we are now greeted with this window, and it is telling us that it will guide us through the basic steps of color correction. Let's click Continue. Now it's telling us to select the color space or picture profile that we shot our footage on. We have four options here. Video, which is just a standard video with no specific or known camera settings. Flat video, a video shot with a flat or low contrast profile. Log, so it can be any type of log depending on the camera. And I don't know, if you're not sure what profile you shot your video on. For our case, of course, we select log. Then click this arrow over here to go to the next step. Right, so we're now here on the black levels. Here. We adjust a black point until the dark shadow areas are pure black but without clipping it. Clipping means it is either too dark or too bright to recover any details on that footage. We can actually follow this vertical line right here as the suggested black levels of the plugin. We just need to make sure that we don't see any blue on the footage to avoid clipping. If I go all the way to the left, you can see the blues, which means that the blacks are already clipping. So we just need to move the slider until the blue color starts to disappear. This should do it. Then we proceed to the next step. Okay, so now we're on the white levels. It's the same thing but this time, we need to watch out for the reds. And make sure that the whites are not too bright. So we move the slider until the reds start to disappear. Right about here is good. You can notice that it's way beyond the suggested vertical line, but that's fine. Then click Next. We're now in the mid-tone section. This is subjective, but we can just follow the suggested waveform at this point. Then click Next. Now it's telling us to adjust the contrast. Just to be safe, let's move the slider on the suggested vertical line and match the waveform. Then we proceed to the next step. Alright, so we're now in saturation, which means that we need to bring back the colors. 
so you can just move the slider up to the point that we're satisfied with the colors. Just don't push the saturation too far, otherwise the colors will clip. This point is good. Then click next. We're now ready to set the color balance. If you've already set that on your camera, I suggest leaving this on default. But if you feel like making your footage a bit warmer or cooler, feel free to move these sliders. In my case, I won't touch it so I'll click next. And that's it! Just like that, we have color corrected our log footage. So we have a before and after shot right here. Let's click finished. Now I'll play the first clip and try to notice the difference. Let's switch to full screen so you can see better. Pretty cool, right? The image looks balanced, the colors look natural, and we don't see any overexposed sky or underexposed shadows. Now let's proceed with the second clip. Again, we split it in half using the razor tool and drag the colorista effect on the second half of the clip. Then we go to effects controls and click on the guided color correction. I'll just repeat the same steps we did earlier, and I won't go into detail because it's already very easy to follow. So we select log video, adjust the black levels, adjust the white levels, set the midtones, set the contrast, bump up the saturation, then skip color balance and click finished. And this is the before and after. Nice! We're now on our third clip. So again, we split the clip in half, apply the colorista effect, and go through the guided color correction once more. I'll go ahead and speed this up. Alright, so we're done color correcting this clip. And so we click finished. Now let's add a nice transition between the clips so we can see the before and after slowly. Go to effects panel, search for wipe, then drag this transition between the clips. Let's play it. Okay, that's too fast for me. So let's make the transition longer. Now let's play that again. Now that looks better. Let's go full screen. Sweet. Let's play that again. Alright, and for our last clip, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's duplicate the clip by selecting it. Then hold the ALT key and drag the clip on the layer above. Now go to effects panel, search for crop, then drag it to the top and bottom clips. Then select the top clip, go to effects controls, and under crop, set the left and right values both at 25%. Then move it to the right by adjusting the position. Next, set the same left and right crop values to the bottom clip. Then move it to the left. Now we have our split screen. Now let's color correct the second half by going back to effects, search for colorista, drag it to the second clip, then repeat the guided color correction process. Let's switch to time lapse mode. Alright, so we've color corrected this clip. Let's play it. And one more look in full screen. Alright, so that is the guided color correction process using a Premiere Pro plugin called Colorista. 
Color correcting is just one half of the video editing process. The next step is color grading, where your creativity will come into play. We can talk about color grading on another video, because it is an art, and it's pretty much subjective. It will really depend on the artist and what color and look he is going for. And if you're feeling challenged and decided to color correct manually, you can do so. Just go over here to the effects controls, under colorista, you can play around with the settings here. Red Giant also offers this magic bullet suite, which consists of tools that you would normally need in a video production such as Lux, Denoiser, Cosmo, etc. They have a trial version, so before buying this plugin, you can go ahead and test it out. So what do you guys think? Will you be using Colorista or just stick to manual color correction? Or you will just keep shooting in log and go with the standard picture profile on your camera and avoid the headache. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As for me, I'm always all in for anything that can speed up and improve my editing workflow. If the tool works for me, I will definitely use it because convenience is key. Do you know any other color correction plugins besides Colorista? What do you use? Comment down below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, Please do share it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.